I could tell you a whimsical tale that's probably very inaccurate. The Sensible, Sensible Sociopath. Sociopath. Two, three, one, go. Roma, the podcast is here. It really never gets old. Sorry about those jokes I said earlier about babies with both sets of genitals. What does that even mean? You know, I'm, I'm willing to risk my life for this podcast, Roma. Ugh. That sounds insane. And I'm also willing to risk your life for this podcast. There's a difference between, like, uncomfortable and creepy. Anyways, that's why I think pedophilia is just a sexuality like any other. It was kind of traumatizing. White people are bad and do bad things. Periods are not just for women. Take off their underwear and relax with their uncle. How fast can I eat your ass? I mean, you know, you look at me and you go, this is an international man. My whole life is a sham. And you can't get the white Oreos. That's racist. I think I counted, like, 25 racially charged jokes. White privilege allows me to turn off someone's headlights. I was just being agreeable. Robo, when was the last time you were agreeable? It's been days. Also, if you try to poop really hard, sometimes you'll come. You would think that we'd have our shit together. It's the enema for your face. Yeah, I was gonna say, cleaning's for women. I'm not a lady, Roma. Oh, this is so gay. Let's try to be inclusive, Roma. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> Real mature, Roma. Why, hello, everyone, and welcome to The Sensible Sociopath, episode 82. Woohoo! Crazy how time flies. It really does. Yes, we are coming up on Christmas. Very exciting. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited for it. Little baby Jesus. Um, so today we're going to do kind of a different approach to Christmas. Okay. Something no one's ever thought of before. Okay. Kind of. So... You know how you're always just randomly getting gifts for everybody? What if they created a list? Wouldn't that be nice? I mean, yeah. Wouldn't that I be mean, helpful? Yeah. A I gift so. list? Yeah, I think so. I mean, other than just chaos gift giving? Yes. Agreed. I think it's really the way ma marriages fall apart. Mm-hmm. Probably a lot of children get abused. Probably. I mean, I would hope. I mean, assume. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we also have a new, a new, um, kind of a new segment, I guess, a new, okay. new skit. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited for today's show. Good, me so too. So should everyone else be. Sorry, let me invite some people on, on the media social. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give a quick shout out to some of our early, early comers? Uh, let's see. We've got Sarah, Dan, Kat, Steve S., uh, that's where we're at right now. Perfect. Well, welcome to the show, everyone. I hope that you're ready and have your uh, have your pen and pad ready so you can write down the gifts that you would like to order from the great uh, uh, communist country of China. I mean, they do have the best products. I think so. There's a wide variety. Yes. And so that's kind of what we're what we're going to be looking at today. Okay. Now. I don't know if everybody's aware of this. Probably the people that are not YouTubers and podcasters are maybe not aware of this. But there has been some constriction on the topics that you can discuss at one time. Yes. On YouTube. And it has to do with certain, you know, political events and things like that, which we usually stay away from most of the time. For the most part. Yeah. You know, we, we, we weigh in just a little bit. I've got my... Um, Dark humor is like food. Not everybody gets it. <laughs> and it's got the hammer Perfect. and sickle. Yeah. So I thought uh, thought that would be good for 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 our, our episode on China. But so we may have to start. Um, now pay attention to what I'm saying. Okay. We may have to start. Being tiptoeing around, let's okay. say, okay. certain topics and certain things. And so I thought we would introduce a segment. And this might be one that we do during the show or that we can do separately out of the show. Okay. And, you know, just kind of have like little five, ten minute funny things. So this segment is called Double Speed. Dun, dun, dun. We need a sound effect for it. Yeah. God, those communists are amazing. <laughs> All right. So double speak, you may you may uh it's a it's a homage to uh to to 1984. Um so 
what I'm going to do. Yeah, very nice gloves, Roma. Yeah, you like that? Appreciate your 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 festivity. Yeah, today. Dan said he liked our outfits. We're trying to be a little Christmassy. We're ramping up to Christmas. Um, oh, and Roma, did you do a wide for the tree? I didn't. Yes, I just wanted to show Cat um, that we have a a uh, a very nice. Yeah, sorry if we we're zoomed in on the other ones. Yeah, but, we are zoomed in. Yep. And we also have uh oh. oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah. It's funny to have really big ornaments on a tiny tree. <laughs> oh, and then there's also uh Roma's uh pinto bean. Yeah, the magic pinto bean. Yes. Okay, so during this segment of double speak. The premise is I'm going to tell you some things that are close to the truth. And what's written on the paper is going to be closer to the truth. Are you ready, Roma? Yes. YouTube is a champion of free speech and allows for an open exchange of ideas. They believe democracy dies in darkness. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that's true. Yeah, very true. They want to ensure that the facts are available, whether they support their political beliefs or not. Very worthy cause. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just great that they're looking out for us. Joe Biden is an honorable competent uh, or is honorable competent and upholds the values of our republic <laughs> awesome Roma, i don't know why you'd laugh at no, that no i mean it's so true yeah so you're just laughing at the truth he does yeah yep <laughs> uh, joe biden cares about all americans and valiantly protects the constitution and bill of rights <laughs> good old scranton joe actually i think i mentioned that in here Yep, there you go. Mainstream and social media help me to interpret the world through an unbiased lens. <laughs> I'm able to make up my mind about events and figures without being misled. Isn't that nice? I mean, it really it's helpful. Yeah, very helpful. Yeah. Helps me think, not so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All people enjoy turkey as a moist, flavorful alternative to red beets. <laughs> it's true. Just speak of the truth here, Roma. <laughs> the media respects the intelligence of the average American and would not mislead us. Never. Communism and socialism are perfectly sensible solutions <laughs> to balance the power structures in society. <laughs> I want to read these out for our listeners. It's so yes. you guys got to watch the show. Yes, you have to watch the video. So you could go to BitChute, you can go to Rumble, and you can go to YouTube. Any of those are fine. <clears throat> <laughs> Joe Biden is for the, the the working man, old Scranton Joe. Old Scranton Joe. This one's going to make some people mad. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I find music to be a satisfying pursuit of greater knowledge and understanding in the world. <laughs> This is my favorite bit we've done. <laughs> Thank goodness the FBI is apolitical and without an agenda. Thank God. Thank goodness. <laughs> I think a woman wearing vanilla perfume smells classy and sophisticated. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it myself. Don't let the algorithm catch that. Removing trade tariffs from China will help stimulate American job growth. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. Neo CNN. <laughs> Ch 
China has no interest in influencing our elected officials through greed or blackmail. Nope. <laughs> and finally, everything in life is exactly what it would seem. Well, I feel good about that. I feel like we felt we finished strong on that. Yeah. This has been the devil speak. God, those communists are amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> we need to get Alex on the show. Um, yeah. I think uh I don't know, we'd have to get a bigger studio. I think he'd be a little energetic. He'd be like punching shit off the walls. Totally. He's fighting communism, Roma. Yep. <laughs> Yes, so I hope everyone appreciated our new bit, and it will be developing. It'll probably stay exactly the same, actually. <laughs> Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, get some different colored paper. Yeah. You know, change it up. Yep. Or maybe we can make a collage out of, like, uh, magazines. You know, you can cut out the letters. I will not do that much work. Okay, well, maybe I will. Jeez, Robo. <laughs> that would be funny, though. We could do uh, uh, kidnapping letters. Ransom letters? Ransom, yes. Yes. Yeah, kidnapping's nothing without the ransom. No, not really. I mean, it's fun. There's that. I guess. It's nice to take people on rides they don't want to go on. Did you hear that they executed that one guy that kidnapped those people and then burned them in the car? Yeah, but they were Christians. Yeah, they deserved it. Tis the season. And then the, Don't you know the, what Yule Logs the, are, Roma? The left got upset about it. Well, yeah, I mean, you know. It's going to be... Um, I mean, Roma, this this country's too great for hate. Dan says he loves double speak, and he will admit that he misses Stalin for America. Well, I've been drinking coffee, and mm -hmm. I have water here, so I might actually have to stall for for Romerica for, for yeah for yeah. a pee break. Totally, uh, whatever you're some ready, point. Roma. Yeah, Quapio, I'm all over it. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Roma, let's bring up some. Let's bring up some uh, some Christmas gift ideas. Okay. So these are things there are there are companies that you can buy like factory direct from. Okay. And a lot of them happen to be in in China. Nice. And they are, you can find some pretty cool stuff. Now a lot of times you got to buy in bulk. Okay. So we might all have to pool our money to get these great gifts. All right. But you know when you're shooting your rap music video, Roma? Uh yeah, yeah, I and, do. And you know, you might not be on top of top of the rap game. Sure. It's a dangerous place. Yes. A lot you of know. competition. Falling falling far, you know, the the uh when you wear that crown. So maybe you can't afford a Lamborghini, let's say. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to center myself. <laughs> um, so maybe you can't afford that Lambo, Lambo, as we call it. Yep. In the biz. Yep. There is an alternative. Okay. If you want to go to that first uh, first one. So this is a like a Lambo trike. Ooh. Yeah. For a $1,000. Nice. Now that's not a bad deal. So you got the Lambo doors. Very nice. You can ghost it. Hell yeah. You know what that is, Roma? No. It's where you jump out of the side and like... It drives itself while you're dancing in your video, and then you jump back in. Oh, is that a thing? I mean, it started being one a while ago. That was even before TikTok, though. Huh. I don't know what the TikTokers are doing. Yeah, I don't know either. But, um, yeah, it's it's three wheels. I think it's like 250 cc's or something like that. Very nice. Yeah, so I think that that, you know, motorcycle engine probably sounds cool. It looks <laughs> cool. Yeah. What's the thing on the back wheel? Um, Probably makes it go faster, I think. Maybe it's luggage. Yeah, exactly. Keep a sandwich in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tupperware. Well, lunchbox. Yeah, it's made by rubber Rubbermaid. <laughs> um, yeah, if you scroll down, you should be able to see some more pictures of it. Usually, they have more pictures, or maybe dildos will pick up or something. Um, nope, just dildos. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's say you're not in a sporting mood. Okay. You want something maybe a little more luxurious. Okay. Luxurious. <laughs> you heard of something called electric windows, Roma? I have not. I don't know. I don't know if you have. But if you check it out, um, I call this one the luxury mini. Now, okay. it's a bit more of an investment. 
$2,600. Very nice. Yeah, but you can tell. I mean, it's really got a lot of Humvee in it. Um, and so can people sit in this? I mean, if you wanted to, you could. You'd be very <laughs> uncomfortable. You'd hate it. <laughs> but, like, is this a full-size vehicle? Yeah. Um, there's a video on there if you play that that little video there. It'll kind of show you how cool it is. You can probably make it large, yeah. Wow, look. Oh, look at that plastic. Oh, it's like a golf cart. <laughs> he looks. You can get this for $2,600? Yeah. I wonder if it's street legal. I mean, even if it wasn't, you could just like hang out in it and probably feel cool. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Look, fart proof uh, seat covers, <laughs> metal plate on floor. Yep. This is pretty badass. So when you step on it, you don't drop through. I wonder how much shipping is. It's probably a, a sizable amount. Yeah, I'd imagine. Don't worry, though. When Joe's in office, free minis everybody for everyone. Gets one. Yep. Good old Scranton Joe. Instead of making cars in America like idiots. Right. We'll just get our, get our cars there. I, I like the Hello Kitty one the best. Yeah. Kitty I'm, says, I love you. And I'm sure there's no inter intellectual property ripoff there. <laughs> I'm sure it's completely above board. They've paid full price for the property rights. Right. To use the licensed Hello Kitty. And it says, Kitty says, love you. Did you see that? Yep. Yeah. I did. Kitty says, love you. It's not Hello Kitty. It's Kitty says, love you. Roma, you know how like, most cars out there... Claim to be pussy pounding wagons. I not I mean not really, but I'm sure it's a thing. I mean, but you said that when you're shopping for a car. I'm Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Is you this a pussy in, pounder? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old PP. <yeah. laughs> I don't know. That's what I say. Yeah, totally. Rubble keeps it short. Let's get right to it. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm just gonna show you. Kind of the epitome of what I would call, what I would say. And you can play the, play the video, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that sexual, uh... It uh, looks like a trash truck. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> play it one more time. I mean, honestly... That I thing mean, would tip over so fast. With graphics like that, how could you not want it? You know, honestly, that guy is like groundbreaking. Because I bet you, I bet you in a communist country, it's hard to find like cutting edge anything. Ooh, look how it opens up. Yeah. That's where you kidnap people. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, a little ramp that doesn't go all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just enough to mislead you. Yeah. So anybody that is not following COVID lockdown rules... You throw them in there and then take them away, drive it into the ocean. Very nice. That's what I would do. I like it. 2900 bucks. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. And how many units? So, yeah, if you buy one to eight of those, 2900 bucks. Nine or more, 2500 bucks. Wow, that's a deal. So, I think we all need to start pooling our cash. Right. Yeah. We could totally have like a little mini trash truck gang or something. Oh. That would be awesome. Yeah. You know, I would put a little turret. I'd cut a hole in the top. Just have a tennis ball gun like uh <laughs> That would be so awesome. Like American Gladiators. Yeah. Just all the, I'd just go to the dog park. Do, 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 do. <laughs> They'd be crazy going nuts. That would be amazing. All the owners. <laughs> so, so, Roma, you know how Mercedes Benz are like, you just know one when you see one, right? Yeah, sure. And I could not tell this one apart okay, from let's... another Mercedes Benz in any way. It's. I don't think this one has a video. Yeah. You might be able to scroll down if it has bigger pictures. We won't give up. There we go. So. Nice. I mean, you see the, the, uh, the, the propeller, whatever, whatever the, the, I don't even know what they call that. The tri triangle, yeah, the thing, the, whatever, the trifecta. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, yeah. I'm fancy. Um, so go ahead and keep the keep, emblem. Keep, sh keep showing people. Yeah, this uh, this obviously Mercedes. 
It's called a Benz, a B E N N or B E N Z Z. <laughs> Look at that high quality dog leather. I don't know. <laughs> dog leather. <laughs> the softest dog leather. <laughs> it does look pretty soft. It probably is, actually. It is a B E N Z Z. Is it a transformer? Just turned into I think into that's this. a different vehicle. Okay. That's a Volvo. <laughs> Pretty cool though, right? Yeah, not and bad. And actually, it is kind of a cool one because it's got the captain's seats in it. It's got the Alpine. Uh, How much for this one? Twelve to fourteen grand. Okay. But you're getting a Benz. Yeah, that's true. When you're rolling in a Benz, <laughs> you know it. So, what year do you think that is? <sighs> It looks like a Toyota or a Nissan from like 87. Something like that. Remember those ones that look like eggs? Yep. They're like little angular yep. eggs. I guess that'd be kind of a difference um, between an egg and an angular egg. <laughs> it hurts coming out worse. Uh, so Roma, Christmas time's here. Yep. It is a time of joy. And cheer. And cheer. And psychedelic child predators. Oh, okay. You've got to play the video for this one. Let's do it. It's up. It is up? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right. Now, prepare to be... Wow. <laughs> Intellectual property, by the way. Watch when they start driving these things around. It's great. So... They're all... They all look like... VWs. Yep, VWs. There's bugs and buses. And those little mini cabs. Yeah. Which are kind of cool. They've got Mickey Mouse on them. Oh, that's so cool. That is actually kind of cool. They've got like bicycle tires on them, though. Look how yeah. skinny the tires are. Yeah. They'd be good for Burning Man. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Like, literally. Yeah, Burning Man. Burning... In them. Yeah. <laughs> For driving them, but only four four grand to forty five hundred dollars. That's not bad. Yeah, I think it's a great deal. I probably look could, cool. You probably couldn't like put you. on the highway though. Probably not great on the highway. No. No. Nor in inclement weather. That's true too. But a lot of fun. A little. Bit. This one's got a turkey on the front of it. Because that makes sense. No, actually, it's, I think it's a um, peacock. It, it's a party turkey, Roma. It's a party turkey. <laughs> <laughs> and then it has the kitty sends you kisses or whatever yeah. on the top. Don't know what that kitty is. Kitty sends you kisses. <laughs> whatever it was. Now, this one doesn't have as much sex appeal as some of the other ones. Okay. Um, kind of looks like a suppository. I don't know suppository. if you can beat that last one. Yeah. The pussy pounding wagon. The pussy pounding. Yeah, you can go ahead and. This one, it's just. I don't think anything on it is right. Yeah, it's really weird. It's like really oddly tall. And all the angles are wrong. All the curves are wrong. Yeah, I don't know who decided that this was a good design. Yeah. I mean, I'd drive it. I would ironically drive yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly just gray inside <laughs> it's got a oh it's like a scooter sort of <laughs> it's like one of those scooters that has like the enclosure on it mm -hmm. oh look it goes sort of up a hill <laughs> <laughs> uh i wonder how many tries it took to get him to go up the hill that's funny seriously yeah i'm, I'm sure it's, it's these are all great buys i think they make really good christmas presents especially if you bought in bulk yeah had them all parked outside. Yeah. Just all, all neon and shit going Remember when off. we were kids and we got, uh, what would they call them, big wheels? Power wheels. Power wheels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are like the same thing, only for adults. I drove mine up a fence and it hit me right in the teeth. It <laughs> wasn't great. <laughs> um, That's awesome. Yeah, and these are kind of like adult power wheels. So, And the cool thing is, is these are things you can look forward to now that Joe's in office. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, they're probably really, uh, you know, environmentally friendly. Probably, I'm sure they're made with very. Um, I wonder if they're conscious plastics. Yep. 
and batteries. <laughs> very little lead paint. Mm-hmm. Uh, very little mercury. Very little dog leather. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, okay, this looks cool. Yeah. So when I think of luxury, adventure, reliability. Oh, my God. I think of the Tazu Ibu Industry and Trade Company Limited. Was it Jeep Mo? Mo I can't see it. Mm-hmm. Mopar. Jeep Mopar. Oh, par? Mopar? I think it's Mopur, but Her? it's supposed to be Mopar. Obviously, Dodge Chrysler Jeep s- sent over a typo. They made they put that like the cage on it makes mm-hmm. it look super awkward. I think the truck bed sort of makes it look Well, I think the whole thing's awkward. <laughs> I think the tiny wheels the Oh yeah, the tiny wheels. I like how they have the nautical stars on it, but they're supposed to be like military stars, you mm-hmm. know? They kind of got the military star on the back. I do like the smoked out rear tail lights. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Those are cool. Those are gangster. And, you know, if I'm going to go into the Congo, I'm going to take that with me. You know, it's going to be it's going to be the thing that takes me everywhere I need to go when I'm fighting rebels in the Congo. Mm -hmm. That's true. Obviously, you know, when someone's trying to hack me to death with a machete. Right. Eat me. This is what you want. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I'm just glad I brought the right tools. It could probably get across some, you know, puddles. But if this isn't quite your style, I do have something a little later oh, okay. that's going to be much, you know, much better. Dude. Not that one. Um, okay. So, Roma. <laughs> this is some steampunk-ass yeah. shit. Yeah. Roma, you know when you're so cool that you're willing to erupt into a ball of flames? <laughs> In a bike lane. Sure. Well, this is what you want to be riding. Okay. When that happens. So uh, the gas tank is pretty leaky. It uh-huh. happens to pressurize and shoot gasoline out. Yes. However, it's got a horn on it. Oh, And perfect. a light. Nice. And a suspension that creates sparks. Wow. Dog leather. Yep. This is something. And it's not cheap. It's, I think, uh, what was it, $1,000, something like that. Okay. Well. But it's not It's got terribly... an engine, though, right? What's that? It's got an engine. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. when it actually works and doesn't just look like one. Yeah. So, yeah, $1,000. Yeah, but if you buy 15, or 150 of them, it's only $940 each, so. I mean, we're practically making money at that point. Right. They're giving them away. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to get you one for Christmas. Perfect. So this is the other one. So you know how there's a civil war coming up? <laughs> yeah. Roma, you're, you're blowing my... I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, so there's an upcoming civil war. I don't know if you've heard of it. I mean, I've heard it be speculated on. Yes. Um, there are three things you're going to need. A motorcycle. A rifle and a shovel. Okay. And this is going to solve our problems? For pooping, probably. Probably need that. This looks yes. awesome. I think there's some there's some better pictures maybe oh, down below. Yeah, I'm going to go down. I wish they had. So, there we go. Holy cow. So, it's got a place for your rifle. Look at that bike seat. Yeah. <laughs> just a mountain bike seat. It's just like mounted in the middle of it. On this badass, uh, you know, I dirt bike motorcycle thing. Yeah, I wonder how the the motorcycle actually functions because it looks like a fairly small motor on it. So I don't know if it's like a badass zip around. Look, you got your gas cans on it. Yeah, I really like. I like the the AR. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody following you a little too close. Just plop, plop, plop. Craftsman. Oh, and it's made by Craftsman. Yeah, there you go. Obviously. Then you know it's quality. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was a K, like Kraft, like Kraft Dinner. Yeah. It's KD. Kraft Dinner. Yeah, exactly. Um, It's a great, I think it's a great thing. I hope it comes with the shovel, too. I wonder yeah, if it me too. says shovel I, not included. 
look at me. He's got a he's got a shovel and an uh an AR right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the shovel's blade is is ghostly. Ghostly. It's ghostly. Okay. Which might mean that it does not include. Ah. You might need to supply your own shovel. Which. That's a shovel that does things. I can tell you that much. Totally. It's got a bunch of holes in it. That's mm-hmm. perfect. When you need to scoop something, you know, it really helps. <laughs> holes. Holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the best, best shovel, best shovel they make. Okay. Now, this next one looks like something a Power Ranger might arrive on. Okay. We were kind of that age of, of yeah. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. Heck yeah. Uh, so this one is uh, sort of like a Power Ranger unicycle. Here, I'm going to play the video. Sure. So there he is. All right. Let's see what's happening here. Obviously, that other guy thinks he looks perfectly not ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it doesn't really turn well. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really doesn't turn well. Nothing like... Uh, Rubber grinding closely to plastic right by your genitals. Wear those short shorts. I mean, it looks like fun. I was going to say, it looks like fun. Like kind of like Tron. Yes. So if you check out the the uh, pictures of it, um, the first one. So that's the that's the one. I don't know. Does it, does it, it make like it bigger or something over like... that? Yeah. So if you if you look at the next picture over Roba, I actually have a Power Ranger. Uh, sorry, on the next tab. Oh, got it. So it looks like. Oh my God. Perhaps uh, Tommy, the White Ranger. It totally does. Would would ride something like that. You want to go back and yep. forth? So uh, yeah, there we go. So Dude. gold, black, and white. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thought that that was pretty pretty badass. You called it. Yeah. So, anyways, if you cosplay. Or if you know someone who cosplays Tommy, who who was formerly the Green Ranger, yes, and then he became the White Ranger yeah. uh, because of of hierarchy or something like that, some kind yeah. of patriarchy. Patriarchy. Yeah. So uh, if they cosplay Tommy, the White Ranger, they would look majestic rolling in on there. <laughs> Steph wants to know if the rifle was to use as turn signals. Yeah, I mean, you you definitely merging would be easier. Yeah, see, Dan wants to know if you can mix and match. I wish you. I, I was I was hoping that too. Like, get a Power Ranger one, get a like you know sexual predator one, yeah. get a you know the the mini the, trash truck one, and then have your own like Mario Kart style. Yes, yes. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be amazing. We could get live turtles to throw out. <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of mushrooms. Cat said she had a crush on Tommy. Me too. There's You're always in good rocking company. that tank top. Right. Ponytail. That's funny. Obviously, I've modeled my life after him. <laughs> uh, okay. So, lastly, you know those people who give rides down, like, like in, in, in downtown and, um, and, uh, it's like the 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 people in the horses with the horses yeah, in like New York carriages? City. Sure, that sounds like a word that would <laughs> describe them. So let's say, let's say you're giving someone a Christmas ride through, you know, Central Park. Sure. But you didn't want to look cool. Okay. And you wanted to look ridiculous and okay. work really hard. Okay. What I would recommend is this next. Oops. Oops. <laughs> well, try to reload it. Uh, let's see. Apparently it's very busy. There ah, we there we go. go. Like a what do they call them? Rickshaws? Sort of. It's like a rickshaw sleigh though. Look okay. at the look at the ornate red. It's very um like Mary Poppins. Mm-hmm. Or uh like Victorian. Mm-hmm. Like uh the time machine. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Totally. With the Morlocks and the Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, if you really, I mean, I couldn't imagine how much that thing weighs. Could you imagine trying to pedal it? 
No, I couldn't. Ugh. You'd be in crazy good and there's shape. There's only one dude that's pedaling too. I mean, I could see if you had like multiple pedals in the back. Mm-hmm. I'd be smashing those light fixtures off of it and crap, trying to <laughs> get some weight off <laughs> of it. Seriously. Probably Less tassels. 400, but yeah, exactly. Just cutting them all off. <laughs> Cutting them off for speed. It's, I mean, it's pretty cool, though. I kind of like it. No, I like it. But I'm not going to drive it. No, it's like it's like um, driving around in a French salon. Totally. Parlor. Yes. So that's that's my vehicle recommendation. I, I like them. I do. Yeah. I think, I, think I, can, I get some pretty strong. Some pretty strong gifts there. Gift ideas. That was yeah. only $500. $500, $800. Mm-hmm. Depending. Yeah. I think it's honestly the best gifts uh, that you can give. I mean, how many of these do you actually think they have in stock? A lot. Because they're, they're sitting here saying if you buy uh, over 100, mm-hmm. it's like. They're probably pumping them out like every. Who's buying two these? You see, Roma, there's, um, there's workers that they collect their hair. And their <laughs> organs, but they also make bicycles. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not talk about who those people are. Yeah. They're I real bummers. Bicycle Bicycles are probably really popular in China. They don't believe in the Christian or Christmas spirit. Yeah. That either. Yeah. Sarah no wants to, yeah, why was there no Purple Ranger? Patriarchy. Nowadays, there would be. See, Billy the blue one was the gay one. Was he? I mean, probably. Wasn't his name Jason? No. That was the Red Ranger. Oh, right, right. Billy. Yeah, Yeah, okay. But there was Trina, Kimberly, and Mm -hmm. Zach, I believe, was the Black Ranger. Yeah. Who had a gun, which was kind of, it was an axe that turned into a gun, sure. Sure. Just seemed kind of racist. Yeah, totally. He was from Detroit. (laughs) Chicago. Roma, let's go to the miscellaneous. Miscellaneous? Yeah, miscellaneous part of this. So, you know how you're always sick of, like, just, you can only warm up your sex toys in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, that does b- bum me out. Yeah. Um, so if you go to, uh... Hold on. Yeah, so this one should be the first tab. Do you know what? Do you know which Go one? Go with the one in? with the shirts, whichever one you were just on. Yeah, because I think it's the next one. All right, hold break. on. Sorry, we're having te- technical yeah, we, difficulties. We prepped all these things, and apparently they all need to be refreshed. So. There we go. This is the one? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Okay, so Roma, you know how all, you, all of your sex toys you're having to warm up in the kitchen? Yeah. Now you can just have a freestanding microwave that'll be microwaves wherever you want. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. So you just crank that baby up and start throwing microwaves all over the room. Oh, my God. Hot yeah. selling microwave therapy instrument with factory price. hmm I mean, you want to take any batteries out or living organisms out right. of the room? And so you can use it as clean sex toys? Clean them? I just meant warm them up. Oh, okay. What, you like ice cold? Jeez. I don't know. Roma, you're so silly. <laughs> just goes to show how much I use sex yeah. toys, I guess. I mean, it's just rude. So anyways, I call it the freedom microwave. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. That's it's great. Fun. You could like cook a pot pie from just what, over across. Yeah, what is, what is, what's the, the purpose of this? What would you even use this for? That's uh, for medical stuff, probably. Okay. It, but it, you can buy one online. It wasn't going to go to my health section, though, because I feel like it's probably the opposite of health. Yeah. So, Yeah. Well, I'm glad they exist. I don't I know mean, how I've lived without one. It's something we need for sure. Yeah, absolutely. 
you know how sometimes you're walking through your house and you're like, I want to lay my eyes on the most prolific killers of the 20th century. Okay. We have that. I mean, uh, yes. And so, so if you kind of peruse through, I mean, uh, let's go with the middle one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, you got some nice communist uh, propaganda. I believe that's Mao. Nice. Uh, there's a bunch of Mao, Stalin. Just some great communist propaganda to put on your walls for Beautiful. a very fair price. Yeah, there's Mao. What do you have? Uh, 100 good. million deaths under he's his looks, belt? He looks like he's been Maoing down on some Big Macs. That's what he looks like. Roba. He has. <laughs> he definitely has. <laughs> It's like Kim Jong Un. Yeah. You know, whole whole nation starving. And yeah, the rest of the country is eating frozen potatoes, but. Yep. But he's doing all right. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. He looks good. Very jovial. Okay. Let's say you're running a nuclear facility. Okay. And you're really needing to cut back on budget. Okay. Here's where you want to start. You want to start by reloading the page. Here we go. You want to get yourself. A customized, low-price, radioactive isolation shield tank. Nice. I've been looking for one of those. This is the best price I've seen on the internet. I mean, the bottom will just fall right out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to put anything in there. Maybe water, because it'll dry. Yeah, it's uh, not microwave safe, so don't put it in the dishwasher either. And don't use your Freedom microwave around it. Yeah, don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> you do not put those together. Yeah. So just an idea for somebody. In yeah, case no. Got some nuclear facilities. Are, I'm, I'm making a list right now. 20 pieces, $4,500. See? Not too shabby. And obviously, if you're running a nuclear facility and you don't want to tell anyone, you uh, definitely... Backpack straps. Yeah, back. Oh, for the the uh, microwave thing. Oh, that so would be awesome. You could fight ghost with that, or you could wear that on your back. You can just leave that. Um, or you can fight. Uh, you can wear something like that. Wasn't that on on Back to the Future? Mm. I feel like there was something along those lines there. I mean, yeah, Doc I Brown. Know. Doc Brown definitely had the nuclear because there was those Iranians yeah. in the parking lot. Yeah. Shot with the AK-47. Doc. Yeah, I don't remember what was on his back. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was probably a customized, low price radioactive isolation shield <laughs> tank. <laughs> Likely. Yeah. You could take some of those mini cars and then, like, put a microwave thing on and some radioactive shit and probably make something pretty cool. That would be cool. Yeah. If you could go to all of these, like, crazy factories and just pick whatever you wanted to put together to make, like, a battle bot, that would be awesome. Totally battle bot. Yep. Because they've got some cool stuff. We're going to show you some of it. This next one, I'm not sure why your child would ask for a flamingo. That they can force feed while it's sitting on a toilet. Okay. But when they do, you'll know where to get it. All right. Let's see. Okay. Gotta go flamingo. Little live pets. Gotta go flamingo. Feed me. I do a magic poop. I repeat what you say. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. It's pretty horrific. So it's, Sarah, it's almost, I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. It's almost like uh, something from the movie Seven, I feel like. Look at the poop in the bottom of the bowl. I don't know why anyone would want to raise a child in this city. Lovely. Mm hmm. So, how much is this? $10. That's it. For a th for 10,000 units. Yeah. 100 lot. I don't know what that means. I mean, there's like 10,000 kids you could one, probably... One batch equals 100 units. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. I mean, I mean 100... pretty, pretty cute. Yeah. I just think it's uh, sadistic. 
It's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. And why specifically a flamingo? I guess because it's got to go flamingo. I get it. Yep. Real clever. Got to go flamingo. She says, it's Cass says, oh my God, I've seen these. Have you seen the unicorn that poops too? Like, why are teaching kids scat fetishes? Ha ha. <laughs> scat Everybody. fetishes. I mean, there's not enough of them. It, we got to spread it from Germany. So Dan says, combine the Freedom Microwave with the isotope container and the Moper Jeep decked out in the Burning Man's VWs while going to collect your toilet flamingos. Absolutely. I like that Moper. The Moper. Oh. <laughs> Quit moping. Yeah. <laughs> Such a sad Jeep. The Moper. Very interesting. So, Rome, I don't know if you live in a city that has more COVID restrictions than others. Uh, I do not live in California. Okay. If you did. Today. And let's say you needed to get your mail or perhaps save someone from choking mm -hmm. using a Heimlich maneuver. Okay. Or... There was a fire drill and you didn't have a lot of time to get out of your place. Okay. They, there's a quick and easy solution and this is the safest way you could. I you like could where be. this is going. Yeah. It's the safest way you could interact with anyone. Oh, okay. And it's a nice, comfortable, breathable COVID suit. Very nice. Yeah. I it's think pretty it's, sharp looking. Really uh, uh, relaxed. Domestic fit. market, North America, mm -hmm. trade assurance. I'm sure those certificates are valid. I, oh, look at the slave labor. Yeah, I doubt that there are many people have been sucked into those machines at all. Yeah, they weren't even shy about it either. Contact us now. Yeah. I like it. So when you want to hug someone, you can hug them on Christmas morning. After they open their gift and then put it on only from a safe distance. $290. And if you get 100 set, it's only $265. Telling you. Yeah, worth it. It's making a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Sometimes women are afraid of the sun and I, COVID. I avoid going in the sun at all costs. If, if you're afraid of the sun, COVID, and looking unchaste... We have a solution. Okay. I want to see it. Holy moly. I think it's a great fashion statement. It's a poncho slash face mask burka sunshade. <laughs> <laughs> burka sunshade. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, and Daniel was thinking here. He's thinking about putting the... Uh, you know, wearing the suits to stop the gasoline from spewing all over you. <laughs> it's a good idea. You know, Asians are so cute, and she, she even makes us look, okay, with the, the mask thing gone, it's not as bad, but she even makes mm. it look awkward. Like, if you go on, like, okay, have you ever been on Wish? Like, Wish.com, so you can order cheap stuff from China like directly. Like prostitutes? Uh, they have sex, sex uh, mannequins and stuff, I think. Just drill a hole in them? I don't know. I don't know how it works. But anyways, and they always have these like little teeny tiny petite Asians modeling things. And they will make the most horrendous thing look absolutely adorable. And like you get on some fat American, it's like, well, it looks like a trash bag. But she <laughs> even makes this look awkward. Yeah. Well, it's because it's terrible. I would say. Who's designing these things? I mean, I would think... Um... An empowered woman. I guess. I would hope. So, I don't know. I think you should just get a bushel of those, hand I mean, them out to your friends. Yeah, it's only five eighty five, And then if you get 500 pieces, it's only four ninety five. You know, and there's some people that just wear the same thing every day. Yeah. You could just have a stack of those. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, now with the, with the, uh, the Great Reset, mm -hmm. you know, the World Economic Forum. Yeah. You're going to own nothing and be happy. Yep. There you go. There you go. This is your uniform. This is the new you uniform. Seven or five of them a week. 
and the other two days you're topless. <laughs> <laughs> then you're not protected from COVID or the sun. Well. Is it worth it in the end? I mean, you're happy. I guess. <laughs> so, this one's a gift from China. Okay. It's a way to trap stupid Americans in a cage. Okay. <laughs> That's hooked up to the World Wide Web and other wiring that you have no idea what it's for. Okay. But you'll find out. Okay. Let's find out. And it's a virtual reality cage. Whatever. There you are with all your friends having confined fun. <laughs> Only the people on the outside of the cage have real guns. And the other stupid kid just spinning around in circles has no idea what Why he's doing. Why is it a cage? Well, it's I mean, just that's creepy. How they... Oh, it's creepy. It's just creepy. Like, it could be, like, a room, but it's a cage. Mm -hmm. Like, if I was white and that was in China, I would not go in there. It's not a good idea, no. No. Now, I mean, it's like the kind of shit they have at wet markets. Only yeah. full of white Americans. Or ISIS videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a cool concept. I guess you keep people from wandering around. Yeah. Uh, but there is a lot of this stuff and, you know, 20, 25,000 bucks for a virtual reality setup in its own cage. So yeah. basically you plug it into the matrix internet. space. There's cameras that watch you and <laughs> can lock the door behind you. Yeah, no shit. And then throw it into a pool. So you also get free games with it. They okay. have a bunch of that stuff. Actually, they have like 90 chairs. Nine that, like, turn D? upside down. Oh, do crazy. This crazy crap. That sounds scary. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't do it. And it doesn't even look fun because they're not dynamic. It's just like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, now I'm upside down. This is so cool. I'm watching a movie. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. It well, just it's doesn't only look. $2,500, $25,000. Yeah. That's a bit much. It's a little much. I feel like we could figure that out on our own and make it for way cheaper. I mean, you could just get a PS5 and probably a, a headset or two and, I don't know, put some cardboard down on a floor. <laughs> move your couch out of the way. Right. I'll move your couch for five grand. Yeah. Not all day. 25 grand. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, it's a way to get stupid Americans in cages. Yeah, I just don't, I don't trust it coming from China, mm -hmm. especially. I mean, because it would be too reasonable of a price and make too much fun for you. Yes. That was exactly my reasoning. Mm -hmm. And you want to put their Wi-Fi on yours? Yeah, exactly. put cameras in your wherever mm -hmm. from them? Yeah. Okay. You know how sometimes your dog loves you too much, Roma? <laughs> Actually, I do, yes. And you do not want him to love you that much anymore? All the time. Check out this next product. Okay. Sign me up. Yep. I don't even know what it is. I already want it. It's doggy pants. Or doggy diapers. diapers. Aww. The dogs are cute, so that's kind of what sold me on it. Yeah. Um, I do like the ones where the penis is riding high, and so they just have like this. Oh, maybe there is a part on its butt. But it looked like, it looked like it was just, yeah, okay, yeah, it's not on its butt. It looks like a giant minion. Yeah. Roma's dog is minion. Yeah, my dog. That one's pretty cute. Yeah, he is pretty cute. I like how genetically deformed he is. Is this where they eat the dogs? Yeah. This is where the dog leather comes from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bleached white dog leather. Delicious. All right, hold on, I gotta watch rewatch it. Little doggy diapers. Look at him. He's so sweet. Everybody loves dogs. Oh, look at his little face. Oh, <laughs> he looks so upset. Yeah. It's like, why are you making me do this? <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm safe for now. I'm safe all this camera's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, put me in all the diapers you want. Just don't eat me. So, Roma, you've been um, eating a lot of meats lately. 
Have you uh, not? I have. Yeah, actually, my my meat game is 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 gone up. High high uh, high uh, high scoring meat game. Yes. Well, do you want to know how to make someone a little closer to a vegan? This sounds scary, but yes. Mm-hmm. This is what I would use. It's like a nightmarish nightmare nightmare scape. This is amazing. Yeah. There's many different I think if you scroll down it'll it'll I think there's good pictures down below. That one is the one that I'm like that kind of freaks me out. All right, I know what I'm getting Sarah for Christmas. Yes. The, poop, it is the a, pooping flamingo and the dissected chicken. Yes, and you could even see the egg sitting right in its asshole. Oh. Do you see that? It seems very uncomfortable. And don't the they funny... they lay a bunch of them at once, don't they? I mean chickens? I don't see a bunch. Well, I mean, don't they I haven't looked at too many chickens. Don't they usually I, how how are you even growing that in you? How are you growing hard shell? I never really thought about it until this moment. Mm-hmm. Now I'm very concerned. It's it's a very unreasonable process. I don't think mammals should be laying eggs anymore. <laughs> I think we should just stop. <laughs> Wait, chickens aren't mammals, are they? Or are they? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, but if you scroll down, there's uh, there's other ones. Horses and oxen, pigs. Mm, that actually looks pretty good. I know, it looks pretty tasty. Yeah. See the pig bellies? All the doggy. Mm, that's how you make leather. <laughs> Cow. Yeah, the chicken is by far the most disturbing. I think it's the egg. Will you uh, look at the look the at the chat? Chat, yeah, it's yeah, going yeah. crazy. There's some funny stuff. All right, let's back, see. back it up. So Dan said, as you can see here, we have a fine selection of white people entertaining themselves in captivity. Instead of complaining that they haven't eaten or showered in the last month, get your VR cage today. <laughs> that Steph's- is funny. I didn't really think of showing off white the white dumb white people. You know, <laughs> uh, Steph says they had. They had these in the mall, love watching these people have video games induce psychosis battles at things that aren't even there. That is probably pretty fun. That is probably really fun. Yeah. Argo says one egg at a time. That's how you Kat's, eat an elephant. Cat says, <laughs> Kat says, isn't it like once a day? Uh, yeah, I guess Sarah so. Sarah says, I feel like you know me. <laughs> also one a day. Or in the actual wild, a few a month. Like a gun magazine. He's probably talking about loading eggs into a chicken. Oh. Okay, so one egg a day. It's a sound of it. Yeah, that was kind of gross. That was kind of gross. That chicken looks really upset. Yeah, it's. He does not look happy at all. No. I feel like the other ones didn't look that depressed. Well, it's a bad looking chicken in the first place. Like, like you're going to cut one in half and you get the ugliest chicken you can find. See, like the other animals don't seem yeah, don't look that. The pig up. looks cute. The dog looks cute. Yeah. Even without skin. The the cow is cute. The, the horse cool. is cute. Horses are kissing. Yeah. And then you got the chicken. You're like, ah. yeah. This looks like a grumpy ass old chicken. <laughs> <clears throat> Rome, I finally found out why I feel funny when I read Batman comics. Okay. Why is that? You'll see. Okay. <laughs> Be gay, do comics. I mean, I'm sure it's not a problem with the. uh, That's hilarious. Yeah, I'm sure it's not a translation issue. Probably not. Be gay, do comics. (laughs) Like we all say. (laughs) You know the old saying, be gay, do comics. (laughs) It's our first t shirt. The old colloquialism. Yep, yep. Be That's gay, do hat. comments. Yep. As Jesus said in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, so good. So this next one is a celebrity endorsed product. Okay. Uh, but it would have been better had they gotten Michael Vick okay. for this one. Let's see. Save. Okay, what we got here. Somehow I feel like he didn't actually do that. 
that uh, promo. Oh, no, that's Keanu. His head looks like it's been been, been uh, no, photoshopped so. onto that. If you could try zooming in on it, we'll just we're gonna we're gonna do a little little verification. Okay, so skin tone matched perfectly. <laughs> uh, those are not eighty year old <laughs> Chinese man hands. <laughs> Obviously, Keanu's uh, very thrilled to be endorsing a T-shirt that says "Save a pit bull, euthanize a dog fighter." Right? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's what. That's the only reason I threw that one in there. It's almost like, ooh, a celebrity endorsement. <laughs> China, you're so reputable. Yeah, really, no shame. That's awesome. I and love that, it. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of funny. I guess Keanu would be a good spokesman. He would do that, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He absolutely would. For China. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> do you want to move into health? Let's do it. And or welfare? What do we got? Probably the next one. Oh, yeah. All right. Get off that one. Get off that Get off one. it. Where am I going? Well, we'll start at the beginning. All right. So this one, jumping rope is dangerous, Roma. People strangle <laughs> themselves all the time while masturbating. Okay. So as you can see. Oh, this solves that problem. Yeah. Solving a lot of problems here. Hey, you, you're right. you don't even have to jump anymore. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> Isn't it That's awesome? awesome? Yeah. So it's the ropeless jump rope. That's amazing. Thanks for solving that problem, China. <laughs> yeah, you know, it has been bothering me for a long time. The whole yeah. rope in the jump rope situation. Yeah. Well, and for those people who are tempted to autoerotically, auto or it's for those people, so that's for people who are tempted to autoerotically asphyxiate themselves. Uh-huh. Now, for the people that aren't tempted, there's this option. Which is the super jump rope. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a heavy duty fucking jump rope. But it's super. I heavy mean, jump rope. Yeah. It's it's pretty much like what you would use to moor a boat. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think they quite understand what battle ropes are for. Yeah. I think they think they're jump ropes. Because in China, you don't need to exercise. You just work until you pass out. Right. <laughs> well, it's just reasonable. It's only a 389 to 598 a set. Yeah, I mean, made with real human hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chinese human hair. Yep. From those hard workers that don't get paid and are imprisoned. It does so, look like hair. What's that? It does look like human hair. It is. Yeah. I mean, that's why they're all black. <laughs> What, I'm not making generalizations no. about the slaves they have in in China? Roma, have you ever seen the movie Brazil by no. Ridley Scott? Mm -mm. Okay. Or Twelve Monkeys? Uh a million years ago, but I don't yeah. remember I don't really remember it. So Ridley Scott kind of does this uh future dystopian future thing. And it's usually very like colorful and kind of crazy and and uh, so I, I this kind of reminded me of of a Ridley Scott film. Okay. And uh, it's a hip mus bone massage. Hip mus bone. All right. Let's see what this is about. Yeah. So it looks great, right? You're like, Horrible okay. hip exercising kit. Yeah, you just plug it in and mm -hmm. connect it to your Wi-Fi and. Tell it all your secrets. <laughs> wow, oh, don't you look cool now? Yeah, it looks very comfortable. Then you just crank it up to arbitrary numbers. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seems good. Yeah, exactly. I'm a Ted. <laughs> well, it looks like it's working well. Yeah. Oh, hope squeeze the dump right out of you. Interesting. Yeah, I don't... for all those people with osteoporosis, you know, you know when you've got brittle hips, 
you should strap things around your midsection. Oh, see, it is pretty or, sexy. Look at that. Yeah. That's it's the like picture a, that actually sold me on it. Yeah, it's like, a, what is the fifth element? Mm-hmm. That's actually, that might be a Ridley Scott. Is it? It might be. Dan would know. Dan would know. Yeah. Uh, huh. All right. Well, that's a thing. You want to scroll back on the, the chat? Yeah, let's see. Uh, BK do comics. That's it's COVID-19. Cut out. I don't know what that is. He did that when I was five. Oh, the Be Gay Do Comics. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dan says, I have a scar on my forehead that would have been avoided with the ropeless jump rope. <laughs> he almost freaking <laughs> killed himself on, on a jump rope when he was a kid. Tripped on a jump rope. I think this is a story. Tripped on a jump rope, hit his head, and was like bleeding out. Wow. Yep. Was he double dutching? I don't know what he was doing. Was he doing the thing like right outside the double dutch where you got to get the rhythm? Cat says, oh, my God, reminds me of those ab working machines that girls wore in my high school. <laughs> really? That was a thing? That's Canada for you. All right. Weirdos. <laughs> Were they made of denim? <laughs> uh, Perfect. <clears throat> so, Roma, like I was saying, nothing, um, <laughs> nothing really helps someone with brittle hips like strapping them into something around their midsection that's connected to a bunch of cords <laughs> right <laughs> that gets hot and pressurizes right yeah nothing quite like that to only, help someone only 96 dollars. exactly 96 dollars spread out over the rest of your short life after you break your <laughs> hip and get pneumonia oh uh. Roma, if you've ever thought you might need to join The Purge while... A, a Luke Basson film? Ah, yes, Luke Bass. Bass? Yeah. Basson? Bass? I, I know of him. Um, I think he's French. I think he's a French uh, director. But I can't remember what else he's done. So, Roma, you know when you felt like you've needed to join The Purge? But you also wanted to take care of your skin at the same time? Yeah, all the time, yeah. Well, I have the solution. Okay, let's see. This sounds promising. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, nothing like a nice terrifying LED <laughs> mask <laughs> when you come home to your wife. It just looks like horror. Oh, my God. Let's play it one more time. <laughs> There's there's a video online of a, a girl doing one of those face mask things and mm -hmm. the dog comes and walks in the room and to like screams, like totally freaks <laughs> out. Yeah. I think they show <clears throat> show a young lady wearing one. She does not look great. Let's see. Uh, or maybe it was just the the lady next to it. Okay. It's but pretty yeah. scary. Yeah. It's well, it's... Roma's got her mask right there. It's pretty much the same thing. You just throw a mustache on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely terrifying. Ah, uh, yes. With Jean Reno. Um, did he do The Professional? Did Luke Besson? I believe he did. Gary Oldman. Dan says so. ba bathrobe belt socks, smooth cement floor, and hop one, hop two, hop three smack. Okay. Smooth cement floor. Yep. Um <clears throat> I wonder if he also did Ronin, a shitty movie with uh De Niro and Luke and John Renault. Do not know. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Leon the Professional, yes. Yep. Oh, did he already say Leon the Professional? I guess so. Okay. Roma, do you want to take your white privilege to the next level? Absolutely. Then this is how you would go about that. What the hell is this? It's a three-in-one RF ultrasound CO2 machine skin whitening for beauty personal use. Oh. 
I don't know exactly how it works, but it makes you whiter. Yeah, with all that sun avoidance that I do, I have been feeling a little dark. Tan. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get rid of this spray on tan. Yeah. <laughs> Just CO2 and radio frequencies. <laughs> Uh, ultrasound radio frequencies ultrasound yeah co2 anyways i guess that's how like sammy sosa turned into a white guy hmm, interesting he was dominican michael jackson maybe yeah there was that okay roma i've never seen a machine that was designed to break someone's neck <laughs> But I feel like this one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's. I don't know what exactly it's for. Apparently massage or stretching or something. But basically you strap your head into this. It's almost like a, a jigsaw <laughs> uh, from from uh, saw. Yeah. From the saw. movies. Yeah. <clears throat> it's almost like something he would have where it looks like it would just unfold and then break your neck dan so that's some vanilla sky shit mm -hmm. that's a little bit of vanilla perfume <laughs> yeah it's only used for burning witches <laughs> i mean i never said that devil speak okay so roma when you've had enough of being alone covid the holidays never well when you have Okay. That's the premise of this. I suppose it could happen someday. <laughs> yeah. But when you do, I have a solution. So you could get this for anybody that. Uh, oh, wait. I think it might be the next. Well, what's this one? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing as that last one. Maybe I got the two. Portable mixed up. home use cervical traction device. Mm -hmm. Yikes. That does not sound good at all. So basically you strap in, I think it holds your shoulders and just starts stretching your head off. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. It just starts stretching your head off. You know, when you don't want your skull to be as close to your body as it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's inconvenient. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Try this one. Yeah. Let's see. Dang it. No. I must have missed that other one. Oh. Okay. What is this? Well, for all you sluts out there, bulk HIV tests. Nice. I've because been waiting for these. When you suspect someone has HIV, the first thing you want to do is prick their finger and extract blood. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> in a, in a non-medical setting. Results within 15 minutes. I mean, I can't wait that long. What if you get an invalid one? That prostitute's got work to do. Yeah, no What, am sure. I going to pay her another 20 for that 15 minutes? Sure. Jeez. What am I, made of Subway coupons? Yeah, what do you do if it's, oh, that's only 15 cents to 47 cents a piece. That's not bad. Yeah, you just run to three to four of them. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah. bulk HIV tests. Hell yeah. I would just give them all to someone. Like, just be like, yeah, here. <laughs> you need these. You seem like someone that would need this. Yeah. <clears throat> You haven't been losing weight, but, you know. <laughs> so. <clears throat> when I think of a country, Rama, to help me with my brain. Okay. Help to be, give me brain therapy, manipulate my brain. The so Germans. I think good. You say Germans? Mm -hmm. I mean, I was going to say Chinese, but. Oh. You're way off, Roma. <laughs> Roma doesn't even know what this Chinese Christmas episode's about. <laughs> uh, yes, either the Germans or the, the Chinese. Chinese. That's what I would do. And for... Oh. For a few short dollars, you could plug your eyes, ears, and brain into whatever the Chinese want to. Transcranial magnetic stimulation. For brain therapy. Yep. Okay, this looks horrifying. I mean, well, no, you you don't understand. It just locks into place. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, when you're tied down into the chair, and the back of your skull is off. Yeah. 
What's so it's got that? spikes on top. Yep. Shoot rays in there. And that doesn't look healthy. Modified Sudovico. Uh, John Frankenheimer did Ronin. Ronin was one of the worst movies of all time. It was uh, definitely on the downside of De Niro's career. <clears throat> and Jean Reno. Jean Reno was always, uh, other than The Professional, I think he, I don't think he ever did a really a good movie. He's always kind of a B-movie actor. He acted with A-list people. Yeah. Just never. Yeah, he's French. What do you yeah. Do? And he's all swarthy. It's like dark and looks greasy. Swarthy. <laughs> so. Okay. Roma, <laughs> I know what this looks like now. Okay. The two words that jumped out at me. We're douche nozzle. Okay. An anal enema cleaning shower, stainless steel, colonic douche nozzle vaginal was. Mm hmm. Pretty clear. Pretty clear. Pretty clear as to what it is. Oh my gosh. So you hook it up to your garden hose, <laughs> and you start nozzling and. I like how it comes in two sizes. Yeah, I was going to say. You know, I mean, get the big one. Go go all out. You don't want to have regrets later in life, Roma. That's it's what this is about. That's probably true. Just crank that water up. High pressure. Yikes. I don't, yeah. Whew. I mean. I mean, you do want to clean rectum. Absolutely. Yeah. I have a bidet. I was going to say, it's, it's like a step up from the bidet. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm just afraid, Roba. Maybe you are. Best part of Godzilla with Matthew Broadwick. Broadrick. Broadrick. That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> so, I don't know what this next one is. If it's a mask on a mask, like a terrifying, or like a like a sensible kind of smaller mask on a terrifying bigger mask. Okay. But this one, it's hard to tell. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if the gold part or the red part is a different mask. It's a mask on a mask. That's what I'm wondering. It doesn't The inside like... of the mask looks different than what the outside seems it would look like. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, I guess it is just one mask. But I don't know why you would want a mask that looks like that. Why would they make it look like Rechargeable that? Rechargeable seven color LED mask for skincare. Oh. Yeah. So this is like the other one, only like, I don't know that it's scarier, it's goofier. Kind of, I don't know if you saw your wife. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay. <clears throat> so here is probably the most ludicrous yet sensible thing on this <laughs> okay. list. It's truly a sensible sociopath gift. Okay. So we we approve this one. Yes. 4D eyebrow sticker, bionic eyebrow, semi permanent water transfer, waterproof, and non toxic eyebrow embroidery eyebrow paste. So they're stick on eyebrows. That's amazing. And they're multi sets. You could pick which style of eyebrow you want. That's amazing. <laughs> I just I I guess they're probably real hair. I would think. I don't know. I, I don't understand it very well, but it's, I couldn't imagine this would go perfectly. Trying to put, you know, you don't like when you're, when you're like, oh, I hope this is even or you right, know, right, you're right. trying to cut your sideburns or do something in life. Sure. You, draw, you on, draw on your eyebrows. Yes. <laughs> you're trying to put your goddamn eyebrows on. <laughs> I would, I would never. I'd what if like, one of them fell off? And I'd be like, oh, my, it's my. Is my head tilted wrong, or what am I doing? <laughs> and then, like, you realize one of them's off. And, like, so you try to hold your head off the, the rest of the day. <laughs> you don't want to look like an idiot. Because you know you would totally do that. Yeah. And then you try to, like, rub it up. 
but it wouldn't work and it just come off on your hands and you're panicking. <laughs> you pull out some pubes and try to glue them on. Little honey. Oh, uh, shit. Your day would be so stressful. I literally have used honey, honey in the past to get rid of like stray hairs. You know, when you get like the little hairs, they're like, well, your hair's not very long, but mm-hmm. you'll get like the little hairs and they'll like be poking in the eyes and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I've been in situations where I didn't have anything that was gel like. And so I literally took honey and like <laughs> used it as gel. Then you're attacked by bees. <laughs> <laughs> it works. That's awesome. It works. <clears throat> gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Upbeat Jason Voorhees. People got too sloppy with the Sharpies. Now they're stick on eyebrows. Totally. Well, and just think, when you commit to an eyebrow, that's a long-term commitment. Yeah. You can't just be switching up your eyebrows. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that one, people? You'd see people's eyebrows go, huh? <laughs> <sighs> that's awesome. I'm really yeah. glad those exist. Yeah, I thought... I kind of want to get some. We should get some and wear them on the show and see <laughs> how that turns out. Eyebrow mustaches. <laughs> Yeah. And just put it really high on your forehead. I think we should. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We should shave your eyebrows and then Done. <laughs> and, yeah, shave your eyebrows and then get the fake ones, but put them higher than your original eyebrows. Yeah. Cause those people always look sane. <laughs> oh God. We need to do that. Great idea, Roma. <laughs> I'm willing to do it for, I'm willing for you to do it for the podcast. Yes. Last page. Last set. So, Roma, you know how a backed-up irritable prostate can be a real drag when you're commuting back and forth on a bicycle to work? Uh, no. Roma, don't sell the wrong well, thing. Well, I don't know what's happening here. Go the first part. Sorry. I think that was our punchline. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Nobody's paying attention. All right. Good. Oh, boy. Yeah. So this cod piece, prostate massager. Oh, oh my God. Go. Isn't that nice? That looks amazing. He looks very happy. Well, his prostate's all free and of obstruction. So wait, does it go in your butt? I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. <laughs> Increases blood circulation. Yeah, it has it has different zones. I don't know if you're aware of zones. But it's got zones in it. <laughs> just all splayed out. Yep. Just see, there is a nub on it. I don't know if that goes in your butt oh, or just. I would think it would have to. Against your junk. Well, there should be a zone thing there, and you can see where the zones are. Yeah. So if you click on that, we'll make it bigger. So what does that say? Penis area, testicular area, and the per- perineum. Per- perineum. Mm-hmm. So one through six would be the penis area, and then seven through twelve would be the testicle area, and then the perineum would be lucky number thirteen, <laughs> right at the butt. <laughs> right in the butt. Right at the butthole. Anyways, I just think this is great for any man in your life. <clears throat> Whose prostate's all backed up. (laughs) (laughs) Cat says to do it. The eyebrow thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously I'm going to batch these together. So, Roma, isn't it embarrassing when you're in a Target parking lot and you're digging in your pocket for your keys and your colon splits wide open and your bowels dump all over your floor like a split bratwurst? Uh, yes. That's the worst. Well... You can save your Christmas socks and shoes with this next product. Uh, It's a surgical colon stapler. Oh, my God. Yeah. So you keep one of these around with you while you're doing your holiday shopping. That way, if you do need to... It's a surgical colon stapler? Yeah. That is horrifying. Yeah. I mean... But useful. you, You could also use it for crafts. Yeah. You could put up your... Your uh, you can put up Christmas lights with it. How many staple or how many colons are we stapling? Like, (laughs) 
It looks awfully <laughs> cheap to be stapling colons. I mean, I think it looks great. Oh my god. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. I need Yeesh. one of those. Ooh, that gave me the chills. No, one of my pockets has a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's only 75 bucks. You can staple, staple colons all day. I wonder how much the staples cost, though. That's where they get you. That's right. It's like printer cartridges. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, printers, you can't just put swig line in there? Yeah. Printer's 50 bucks. Cartridges are, you know, 125 Totally. <laughs> I was really worrying myself to death about everything flopping all over the place. But now I've seen the light. <clears throat> Okay, Roma, you know when you're on your lady time? I do know that. And you're not feeling your prettiest? I mean, I guess it's the thing. Yeah, it happens. Trust me. <laughs> I have a solution oh, good. to both of those things. Awesome. Yeah, in one package. Oh, look at these. Why? They're, they're menstrual period panties. Look at that. AKA diapers. They have frilly leg Yeah, that things. is pretty cute. Look how, think of how absorbent that would be when you can absorb from your belly button to your <laughs> coccyx. <laughs> you can absorb up your lower back. <laughs> Jesus. That's like. You know, that's a problem if you wear pads. Yeah. But I just thought that was really funny that they're. I mean, pretty much either either we need to wear tampons or a diaper because pads are just fucking ridiculous. I don't know who's still wearing pads. Obviously, we came up with a great solution. Yeah, here. I think it's great. <clears throat> um. <laughs> so a diaper, Kat says. Roma, you know... <laughs> okay, wait. Go to the other one, go to the, the final one, and then we'll go back. Okay. <clears throat> so, are you tired of not knowing what happens to all your dog semen? Uh, yeah, I'll say yes, yes. I my mean, my I dog know. my dog's back is has his, his what do they call it? Neutered? Penis? He's neutered. Oh. Well, if they're not, you know what brand I go for? <laughs> Tracy's Dog Condoms. <laughs> And here, uh, you can see Tracy's dog condoms. Oh, my God. That's right. Stronger pleasure. For your dog. Oh, that's funny. Look, a reservoir tip for your dog. And you can put fish in it. <laughs> Affectionate and interesting. What the fuck? <laughs> Enjoy the joy of fish and water. What is this? Yeah. You can enjoy the joy of fish and water, Roma, with Tracy's Dog Condoms. <laughs> this episode oh. brought to you by Tracy's Dog Condoms. <laughs> when your dog's just gotta fuck. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy the joy of fish and water. Mm -hmm. That's a great tagline. I think it's the new it's, tagline of the show. It sells it. Enjoy the joy of fish and water. <laughs> Until next time. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, oh, Roma. God. All right, last one. Now, you know when you're taking a sip of your coffee that you thought was piping hot and it turns out to be cold? Yes. Well, nothing kills the mood in the bedroom like cold semen. Animal veterinarian semen collection device, frozen sperm and sperm collection cup. Now, why, Roma, would you have a mug as a top? <laughs> Of a semen collection device. Are you sure they didn't just put a thermos? It looks like a thermos. They're like, hey, Frank, is that my thermos? No, that's my semen collection device. <laughs> it keeps my semen warm or else I get cranky. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's definitely on my list of, of, yeah. of all Christmas holiday it's probably the the greatest gift Gifts. you could give someone other yeah. than eyebrows that stick on and Tracy's dog condoms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. 
And if you've enjoyed this episode, you can support us at the, the uh, patreon.com forward slash sensible sociopath podcast. You can subscribe to our show here on YouTube, also on BitChute and Rumble, all video podcasting sites. And then you can check us out on all audio podcasting platforms. We are on uh, Apple Podcasts and Google. And if you could leave us a five-star review, that would be awesome. Yes, please. Comments always help, too. Yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, thumbs find up. us. Yep, thumbs up. Likes. Find us on Instagram. Like, comment, and share, please. And um, Parlor. Um, so at Sensoc Steve or the Sensible Sociopath. Or I'm, I'm Podcast Elect. Podcast Elect? I think I'm like... The podcast elect or something like that. Oh, interesting. Uh, you know, just supporting, supporting Scranton Joe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's close the show, Roma. Okay. We're coming back next week with a Christmas episode. Yep. So everybody, please be there. Sounds good to me. Have a good night, everybody. Best podcast in the world. The world would not be the same. I like it. No wonder my anxiety is so high. Two people laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Two people cried. Oh, what's in the box? Most people were silent. And that's that. That was it. As I was. That I, I. I. Now I am become death. Sounds like a bad time. The destroyer of worlds. Yeah. So this doesn't seem like a great idea to me. I suppose we all thought that. One way or another. You didn't tell me any of that. That's crazy. Well, Rama, when you're a hero, you don't tell everyone until you're on your podcast. I'm about to hear some shit. We all need to laugh. I think just sitting down and, you know, listening to... The Sensible Sociopath. This is the shit you're supposed to be watching. Gen X is going to love it. Millennials are going to be like, I'm offended. You have offended me. Also, my dog has a giant dick. Oh my God, that's enormous. I love it. It's still a racist dog whistle. Where you kind of have like a rotating cast of characters. We're talking baby seals, eagles, wolves. I'm just glad we're not going to have to eat with racism anymore. It's worse than the butthole. We're technically considered propaganda. It is very contagious. I think we really need to talk about environmentalism. Like, are they studying pine cones? Make yourself a nice stingray omelet. So Steve Irwin died. Cholesterol. It's fucking delicious. His father had ended up killing his mother and committing suicide. In that order? That's diabolical. I like it. They had an apple gun where he could shoot Bigfoot. Has she always been retarded? I mean, she could have had a head injury. <laughs> you don't know anything about tartar sauce. He had picked up a 400-pound statue and was, like, walking around with it. Was the statue racist? I'd like to think so. It's like how they invented bacon and avocado to make a turkey sandwich tolerable. I have a fear of fire. Like a werewolf? <laughs> Daniel, you've been our greatest viewer. Well, Daniel and Sarah and Katrina. Daniel!